She was a world-renowned artist who, say, some say, changed Inuit art forever. Well, today about 70 people gathered in Ottawa to remember Annie Puduguk and called for change. CTV's Katie Griffin is here now with more on this story. Katie? Well, Graham and Patricia, Pudugu's body was found in the Rideau River last month. Police have called elements of her death suspicious. While Pudugu struggled with addiction, family and friends say they want to focus on her fighting spirit and contribution to the art world and those around her. A powerful sound at a service honoring an internationally acclaimed Inuit artist. She was funny, she was friendly, she was kind to everybody. She would make a lot of people laugh. Friends and family spoke about how Annie Pudagook's drawings, modern and sometimes dark portrayals of Inuit life, changed the art world and touched lives. She was courageous to take a, a, a risk in um, expressing some of the uh, deeper, sadder moments as well as the uh, happy moments. Everyone on their feet, hands joined. The congregation asked to stand together and seek truth. No longer was she living in fear. She is now at peace. Family members say in the time before her death, Pudagook told them she was afraid. Ottawa police say elements of Pudagook's death are suspicious. That investigation is still ongoing. So too is the investigation into racist comments allegedly made online by an Ottawa police officer in the wake of her death. As soon as I heard that she was found in the river, that was shocking and I'm still shocked. But on this day, the focus was on celebrating someone many called a loved one, and friend. I rather celebrate Anna's uh, success and also the fact that she became famous and the fact that uh, she had no fear of uh, drawing any subject matter even though it were, if it was dark. Pudagook's funeral took place in her hometown of Cape Dorset, Nunavut. A lot of family attended including her youngest daughter who was being raised by her adoptive parents. She's just four years old. Graham. Very sad story. CTV's Katie Griffin reporting live. Thanks Katie. You're welcome.